I'd like to take a few moments to speak about race here in Britain. Obviously, I'm coming from the other side of the Atlantic, but like many, uh, many people here in Britain, um, my family also comes from Africa and migrated. But I'm also African American. And it's very different, of course, in the US because one of the major differences I've noticed in the US and UK is this emphasis on integration. Now, let me just start by saying that neither nation is where it wants to be or where it sees itself in terms of quote unquote race relations. So there's no ideal place, and I would never suggest that, that um, America is, especially because I'm an American living in Britain. I will, however, suggest that one of the biggest differences that we'll see is that Britain is segregated, wholly segregated. I think that this is the most difficult part about being an American here because we learn very early on that separate cannot be equal. I mean, it is a theme of our education. Even if education, it, it was becoming more separate, separate, separate all along the way, we learn that um, it's improper to go about the world uh, in this way that, you know, uh, communities are separate, disparate, don't know each other. And that's the norm here. So as long as there's a stiff upper lip, I've had many people just say, continue and go on. Now, here are a few problems with this. What goes on behind closed doors does matter. Um, and this is another big difference that I found between the UK and the US is in the US, we're far talking about implicit racial bias. Whereas here in the UK, most of the people I know are still talking about the politics of respectability. I don't think that term exists here, but you have people who make every effort, and I've had majority culture people say this as well, that why don't they assimilate? Why don't they, 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 they? And even with, you know, thinking about young students because they work in an educational environment, why don't they, you know, learn the rules of us? And then they can do whatever they want to. And... I understand what they're saying, but what they're also not saying is that what do we as the majority need to do to shift, to become more open? And that's something that I feel like in America, there is a dialogue around. Um, and so it, it, it is hard to be here when you experience uh, implicit racial bias and yet no one wants to talk about it. And, and you're really in that situation where no one will back you because it's so uncomfortable and it makes it difficult to keep a stiff upper 